In this video, we'll demonstrate the conversion of 3-axial paths into 5-axial. This option is available in scallop and morph operations. Conversion allows to avoid collisions and allows to use a tool of minimal length. It can be used with a spherical tool. Let's see the example where a toolpath conversion is necessary to avoid possible collisions. We'll try to machine the inside of the model by using scallop operation. Select surfaces and run the calculation. We can see that the tool holder collides with the walls of the part. To avoid collisions, we should reject the tool. To do this, turn on the 5-axis conversion and select the type to the point. Move the point and run. Now tool axis always passes through this point. In simulation we see that the tool holder doesn't collide with the part. The following tool axis conversions are available. Normal to surface. The tool is oriented normal to the machining surface. In addition, the lead and lean angles can be applied for further tilting tool along or across from the cutting direction. The rotary axis. The tool axis is directed to the rotation axis in the same way as in the rotary machining. By the help of slight angle, it's possible to tilt the tool along the rotation axis. Also, it's possible to use the lean angle to tilt the tool across the axis of rotation. Throughout point. The tool axis is directed to the specified point. Throughout curve. The tool axis is directed to the nearest point of the slope. By the way, the lead angle can be applied to further tilt the tool from the curve. The curve is set in the job assignment. Perpendicular to the tool path. The tool axis is oriented perpendicular to the tangent tool path and at the same time perpendicular to the rotation axis. It's possible to limit the rotation angle of the tool in YZ, XZ and XY planes. and also along the axis between two conicals. After installation restrictions, the tool will not deviate more than the specified angle. Thank you for your attention.